All right, so today we had a little chest at the gym finally for the summer again. Yep, this is actually a really good one because well, look at the weight. We go pretty heavy for us anyway. Yeah, a goal of ours has always been um, use 225 for uh, working sets. And I'm just laughing because we just voiced this whole video over and I never even recorded it. So this is the second. Yep, uh, we're not very happy campers right now, needless to say. But we've all been down, if you lift anyway, and if you've ever gotten to the point of 225 for sets, you know you've been down that long road of 155, 185, and then 205, and it feels endless. So I'm real psyched. Any, oh, <laughs> I'm enthralled that we got uh, some sets with 225. Yeah, I think I got about seven reps or whatever, and then Doug, of course, had to come and beat me out with, I think, nine. But what you got to remember is since I started balking, I'm 190 right now. I'm trying to hit 200, but that means 225 is only 35 pounds over my body weight, which isn't too impressive. But like I said, I'm still happy. Yeah, old fat Doug over there. Meanwhile, scrawny Matt's over here losing weight on his bulk. I'm only about 155. I don't know how that's possible, but so I guess I'm just not balking, right? <laughs> Needless to say, I got to eat more. But anyway, this next um, set was a, kind of a drop set. We did as many as we could with 225, or I got like maybe five, and then we just dropped a whole plate down to 135. Now you'll see up in this up and coming clip that there was a little friend that was watching us to the side. Yeah, a little birdie on the side. I don't know if you can see him. This guy, he says he went to Gold's Gym, but they said he was too intimidating there. And... <laughs> <laughs> and um, that he didn't like it because they were too social, people just ran on the treadmills. He wants to lift. Well, this guy won't shut up. He's constantly talking to us the whole workout. We got a little bit on tape on the next clip. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of hear him on the next clip. We'll let you listen to. But he's standing on the side, and after, like, every set, he's just watching us. He's like, yep, nice set. It's like, come on, man. We're just trying to lift. <laughs> 15 years ago, when I first started trying to get back in shape, I couldn't do a single fucking push-up. Oh, you come pretty Big fucking difference. Yeah. What an idiot. You can see I'm trying to pretend to be like, oh, yeah, I'm interested in what you're saying. Shut that up. <laughs> anyway, here's my set of 225. Gonna only get like four or five reps or whatever, and then we drop the whole plate. Um, <laughs> like, most of this. <laughs> Man, we're trying to remember what we said last time. Basically, this workout, usually we like to keep an equal balance between the pushing exercises and the flying exercises to stretch out the chest. But this workout, we did almost all pushing exercises when we only went to one pec tech machine for the flies. So we didn't even notice this during our workout, but wait till you see this next clip. It's kind of funny, that guy, I don't mean to keep ragging on him, whatever his name is, but uh, he's doing something. We'll call him Pete. I like Pete, it fits him. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, he's doing some curls, and check out his pull. Flawless. Yeah, so this is the guy who says he's too intimidating for the Gold's Gym. Look at that form. Pull it up. Hey. Hey. Uh, now, gra let gravity do its job. Uh. Uh, that's good for a set. Now you'll see, we went up to about 90-pound dumbbells on this incline press. This is an unfortunate set to film, but, you know, I don't want to show you everything that's just good stuff. I just basically had an uneven grip here, it's hard to tell. So they're wobbling about, and I can only get two or so reps. But it's still pretty good, because after that heavy pushing and the drop set and everything, 90 pounds on the incline bench. But we've all had those sets where uh, the grip's uneven. Yeah, the dumbbells are so wide, these 90s, it's, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> bad, all right, yeah, my set's like up next. And, uh, <laughs> aliupa. Oh, he's still curling. Anyway. Uh, I think I got like maybe four or five. Yeah, it felt pretty good, but. <laughs> we had such a good voiceover before, I can't really think of what we're going to say now. I'm pretty much just trying to think of what I said before, but I can't remember. It's not just draw blanks. Well, I already told you that we did mostly presses. Here, this next clip, this is our only fly uh, exercise we did, stretching out ye old chest. Mind the shaky hand, I was pretty tired at this point, <laughs> so. There's a little bit of that going on. 
Oh yeah, on the next clip I'll just speak a little early for it. But we do a machine press. <laughs> Basically, we just do that at the end of the workout because our stabilizer is so tired so we can use more weight. But I really don't, Doug and I both agree, we really don't like using machines for pressing just because it kind of keeps your arm on one track. You can't deviate it from it at all. So it's not really as natural as using free weight. Exactly. It's obviously a fixed position, so it's really different from a free weight exercise. Doug thought this was a really good view, but you can't really see anything. Hey, that GoPro doesn't have a lens, so I couldn't see what I was filming. Oh, it's got a lens, just not a screen. Come on, push. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, boy. Anyway, here's my set. <laughs> here's my set. Yeah, I think Matthew okay, had Okay, go ahead today. and watch this last video if you want. Underwater. Pretty funny. Now, underwater, these 45-pound dumbbells feel like I'm curled in a little rubber ducky. Now, you want to go nice and slow on these 